Hey guys, how's it going? Sleeping Hall here, and today we're back with another video. Um, we're doing another um, add-on review. Uh, sorry, it's been a, it's been a few weeks. I've been a little busy with you know real life stuff, but anyways. So here we are, and today we're going to be reviewing the Bake Tool. The Bake Tool, I think, is something I really needed, and something that a lot of people will find useful. If you watch back a few videos, I've made a tutorial on how you can bake textures and stuff using Blender's you know baking process. But I feel like this add-on just makes it a whole lot easier, which I mean, that's what add-ons are for, right? Uh, so let's just quickly get started. So we're going to go ahead and just add some you know, basic geometry here. Um, I'm, on the left, I'm going to go ahead and click generate UVs because that's what we want. We want UVs that we don't have to make. So let me just quickly, I'm just going to add some colors here. So this one's going to be green. Let's add another one. Let's do a, a sphere. Generate UVs. Let's just move it up so you can see it. We got a new material to this one, and we're gonna make it red. Okay. So now when we check the UVs, we can see yeah they have UVs, and yeah they have colors. Okay, great. So now let's say we want to bake these two into one one uh, texture file. How are we gonna go about that? Well, what we'll do is go to the Render tab. Down here in Bake Tool, we're gonna go ahead and click Add to add a new job for this baking tool to do. Uh, you can choose from individual and atlas if you know what they both mean. Uh, we're going to keep the textures in the blender for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enable UV unwrap so they can uh, unwrap the UVs together. And now the job object manager, sorry. We're going to go ahead and select both of those and click add. So we add both of those into here. And then now the pass manager is the one you're mostly going to be dealing with. So down here we're going to go ahead and add new pass and right here you can see the different types of passes you can do. And obviously, as you can see, you can add multiple. So if you want to do different passes for, like you say, we want to do one for gloss, one for diffuse, one for normals, or whatever you want to do, you can add them all here. But we're just going to do the one here. So with this one, I'm just going to go ahead and hit diffuse so you can see. And then we can pick the size of the texture we want to be. I'm just going to keep it at 512 just so it doesn't take forever. You can pick the samples and the margin for the UVs, etc., etc. So, you know, if you make this higher or lower, it will obviously affect the time it takes to make it. So with all that being said, let's just go ahead and hit bake. And there we go, you can see it's working. And now, okay, so now you can see it, it, it uh, created both UVs, or both textures for different ones, but we want them together. So we're gonna go ahead and switch this to Atlas, hit bake, and there we go. Easy as that, you can see it's been baked, but as you can see, uh, the lighting is obviously affecting these, so there's no color, so we're going to go ahead and just hit color. I forgot to do that earlier. My bad. Hit bake. There we go. Their colors are showing. They're in one, um, they're in their own thing. So as you can see, the unwrap is if you want to automatically unwrap for you. Um, but then Atlas is if you want to combine all the textures together into one individual. Obviously, it'll do it. It'll do each one individually. So this is, this is a good process. So for that thing I made earlier with uh, the melon or you know cantaloupe as it is actually called, this would be a whole easier process to do than what I had to do earlier. You know, you'd probably still want to unwrap each one individually yourself, but after that you can see the process is pretty clear. Uh, so we should be able to just like this add a new one. So let's go ahead and add a new cube, generate UVs. We'll move it over here. Let's just go ahead and add a new color to this one. So we can go ahead and go with pink. We're going to go ahead and add this to the object manager. And if we hit bake, it should, there we go. Boom, added it right away. No problems, no issues. It, you can see it works out really quickly. Now, if you're using, um, if you're using models and stuff that have their own individual like images for the diffuse and whatnot, there is a small, a bigger process you have to do, which I'll go through right away right now. So if we go to and this is only if you're using cycles render you have to do this so let's say you had an image I'm just gonna so if you had if you had a model and you're combining two or more models together and you wanted to have one uh, texture image for it what you'd want to do is you'd want to add a UV map here and what you'd want to do is you want to select the UV map the original one the one that has the um, the unwrap that works with a textured image that's the one you would want to set here and then when we go back down here 
you'd want to switch this UV map to the one you you want to um, you want to bake to. So I hope that makes sense. But yeah, this is a pretty simple, straightforward add-on. I don't really know what else to say about it. Yeah, so as you can see, it quickly, quickly makes your um, your baking process a whole lot easier. In fact, let's quickly do a jump cut. All right, and we're back. And as you can see here, I have this house that I was making for a Half-Life 2 project. So I had to do some work. I made it in, um, I made it in Hammer, then exported it using some tools. I was able to bring it here in Blender. So now if we look into it, yeah, you know, it's it's a simple simple house. I don't have any doors. You know, it's just a basic thing. But you know, if we look in here, you can see the materials are all or the UV and wrap. My bad, are all over the place. So let's see how this works. Now, if we go here, I'm just gonna remove this just to start fresh. So we can go ahead and add a new job. Uh, for this one, I can leave it as individual because it is just one object. It's not multiple. So we're gonna leave it as one object. Uh, we're going to allow the unwrap because we do want it to sort itself out. Uh, just going to have this one. So what we're going to do actually is, so here's the original UV map. As you can see, it's little, it's really messy. So we're going to want to switch the object manager's uh, unwrap UV map to be the new one, which is the bake. And the pass, we're just going to do the diffuse, just the color. We're going to keep this as 512 because we don't want to take forever. Uh, with that being said, we can just go ahead and hit bake. Okay, so now we can look in here and we can see the new baked image. So it worked, but as you can see, the object is obviously kind of messed up. And that's because we have to go to... So if we look at the new one, we can see right here that it, it is working. You can see it's kind of messed up in the preview because obviously we're using different textures and whatnot. And the UV map is already obviously set to the original. But if we go ahead and just hit here, you can see that the materials as you can see as low quality as they are are being aligned and set to the new ones now for some reason some of the colors aren't showing up let's quickly try to figure out why that is all right because I was messing with some things and I had some <laughs> I was I was trying the normal map bake on some of these textures so it was kind of I was doing some weird things so let's quickly fix this so we can go ahead and cut this off put this here Oh, I, yeah, I was messing with this, so let's bake it again. There we go. Now look at that. So now if we tab in, we can see the ground is perfectly on there. The roof is, you know, perfectly on there. And obviously you can. You don't have to have the um, add-on self do the UVs. If you want to make the UVs themselves and then bake it afterwards, you can do that too. That's no problems. But as you can see, it, it worked out pretty well. You have all the different materials laid out nicely. And like I said, this is just 512 by 512, so it's not... The best quality image but yeah it works out just fine so if you're into baking or you have ba things you need to bake whether it's a normals uh, diffuse or anything else you need to bake really simple process so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one peace